Now this is my channel and this is how much YouTube have paid me in the previous 28 days for 60,000 watch hours. In this video, I want to run you by how much YouTube actually pays me or paid me for 1,000 views and subsequently how much I was paid for about 60,000 views that I was able to garner from YouTube from a new channel that we just monetized recent, recently, one of our channels that we just got monetized recently. Now, before I delve fully into that, I want to share with you a few things, which is firstly about you getting to this journey. It, was, it has really not been an easy journey getting to um, monetization and eventually getting to be paid by YouTube. It's very emotional, if I must say. It has been a challenging journey, to be honest. Now, this is one of my channels, right, or one of our channels. And this very channel you're watching this video on currently is still not monetized. And this video, this channel has been on since I think 2022. Now, this is my simple encouragement to you if you are a new YouTuber or a YouTuber, do not give up on the grind. The fact that you've chosen to start this journey as a YouTuber means that there is something you saw, there is something that motivated you that got you to start. And already you're on the journey. I'm guessing that if you check your dashboard right now, you see that you probably have accrued some views and all that. And if you are an aspiring YouTuber, do not get daunted by the fact that, oh, you need 1,000 subscribers, you need 4,000 watch hours. Trust me, it is not that difficult, all right? In the video, in the subsequent video I created, all right, the video showing on my screen right here, you can just go to my channel and watch it. I made a video where I showed that I created a new YouTube channel where I was able to get to 4,000 watch hours and 1,000 subscribers, about 3,000 subscribers actually, and totally I got somewhere around 900 thousand views in less than 28 days right if you want to know more about that you can just watch that video and learn more about how i was able to successfully do that and the different niches you can explore but the, the challenge with youtube and growth with youtube is that you require it requires patience it requires diligence it requires consistency so if you're a newbie here or already you're just a monetized youtuber and you are finding it difficult to hit the threshold threshold i want to encourage you to keep going because once you eventually get to a point where you start milking the juice from YouTube, it is going to be all worth the stress, it's going to be worth the sleepless night, it's going to be worth the, the tiring journey that you have embarked on. But I promise you, one thing is sure, you must stay consistent. You must not give up. Let me give you a quick story. I know this is just by the way, but I think this is very important. If you're watching a video talking about how much you pay me for 1,000 views, this information is as well very important to you. I started YouTube in 2022 and I was so consistent. Every day I would post one video, which is in fact this channel. You can go down this channel and see these videos, all right? Low gadgets, low everything. I didn't have all of this lightning and all that. I didn't have the resource to, you know, get all of this, but I kept going. Fast forward to 2023, early part of 2020, somewhere around March. By this time, I had already accrued somewhere about 2,000 watch hours and about 1,000 subscribers already. So you can see that I was already seeing monetization right in front of me, but I could not keep up. I was exhausted. I was tired, you know that. So I stopped. I just told myself, you know what, I can't, I can't. And then one, it, six months passed and all the views that I've accumulated in the past previous one year, right, all the views just disappeared because some of these views, majority of them came from one, two, three, four videos that actually did significantly well on YouTube. And after one year, YouTube is going to, you know, take back all these views, take back all the watch hours rather that that video gave you because they are only calculating the watch hours that you were able to accumulate within a period of 12 months. So once you move into another month, they remove one month from the previous watch hours. You move into another month, they remove one more month from the previous watch hour. So it's doing yourself a disservice if you are you're already getting results and then at some point you get frustrated. I know it's difficult, I know it's challenging, I know it's stressful, but you've got to keep going regardless of the industry you're in. It doesn't matter. Whatever industry you're in, you just need to keep firing and you need to keep going. All right. Now, this is my channel and this is how much YouTube have paid me in the previous 28 days for 60,000 watch hours. Now, what we want to do is we're going to come to a calculator here on my laptop. Now, on this calculator, we're just going to divide, all right? We're just going to divide the current revenue I've been able to generate, all right? And then divide that by the time within which I was able to get this, which is 28 days, all right? We're going to divide $225, all right, by 62.2 thousand views. And then we're going to see how much that gives us, all right? Now, you can see eventually on my screen, it's giving us 
point something. Now that this money you see here is the RPM for my industry. This money you see right here is the RPM for the industry, um, which, which is actually education. All right. If you're in entertainment, RPM is usually different from pe for people in entertainment. Now, RPM is simply the amount of money or the revenue that YouTube gets to pay you per 1000 views, depending on the channel you are in. So clearly you can see from my screen right now that what YouTube paid me for 1000 views is $3 plus. Now this can vary. This can be higher. This can be lower depending on the time frame within which this video was created. Secondly, it also depends on the place or the industry or the country rather from whence these views came from. Views usually from countries like Africa do not get as much RPM. The RPM is usually low. India, Africa, you know, um, Asia is usually significantly low. But you see places like, you know, US and all that, the RPM is usually high because advertisers get to pay more, more money, much more money for views all right for um advert, advert and all that so my simple encouragement here is that you never give up all right three dollars for one thousand views is not a bad deal at all all right because if you're very consistent and you stay youtube would definitely recognize you the whole game is to make sure that you're giving value and you stay consistent and you make sure that you're not just dishing out just any content out there your content are actually significantly helpful in one way or the other or entertaining depending on what you're doing and I always advise people, if you're watching this video, you just create a YouTube channel. You, a YouTube channel literally can go for anything. If you're a lawyer, if you're a doctor, if you're an accountant, if you're a, an Excel specialist, if you're a tailor, a fashion designer, if you're a mechanic, I promise you anything you do, you can actually have a YouTube channel for it. Even a mechanic can have a YouTube channel. And that's the fact. Have a YouTube channel. You're fixing anything. You just come to work every day. It's a cam. You can use your phone. I am currently filming on my iPhone 13 Pro Max. Previously, this was what I used to film. This is a Redmi Note 10 Pro. You can see it's even broken and all that. This was the phone I used to film for the majority. In fact, up until early part of this year, this was my phone. This was the phone I used to, sh to shoot. All right, to film until recently when I got my phone. So you, you just have to make do with what you have. As a mechanic, you can literally... People come to your workshop every day. It's literally like you have free content every day. People come to your shop. Simply record the process. Oh, Oga, welcome. What do you want to fix? Oga tell you, ah, my car is doing this, 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 this. You enter the car. Okay, let me drive it and test run it. You drive the car. They film you going, driving the car down. And then see, film you. You just cut it. Film you driving the car backward. And you say, oh, Oga, this is what is wrong with the car. You open it. They fix a the camera. You have people working with you. They fix a the camera close to you, you fix the car quickly. You don't even have to fix it in slow-mo, in, in, in gradually. You can just fix it and increase the speed. Tell people, oh, this was what was wrong with the car. If you feel, if your car is making this noise, this is what you do. And boom, you have a YouTube channel. And before you know it, you get monetized. Two things, you get to still be your mechanic. Second thing, second thing is that you get to be a YouTuber. You get air revenue from YouTube. And at the same time, you're still making money from your business. Secondly, it gives you visibility. It gives your business visibility. Imagine if you are a fashion designer and you're creating content and showing people how to do different things, different styles, and eventually um, your channel blows to, let's say, 100,000 subscribers. Now, 100,000 subscribers, let's say you are in a community like Lagos. Chances are that a lot of the people that are subscribed to your channel will be within your community and would want to work with you because the fact that you have a channel and you have a community means you are an expert in the industry. You are a thought leader in the industry. They want to work with you. And simultaneously, that just fetches you a lot more customers. And at the same time, you're building your business on YouTube. You're getting more traction on your business. Easy peasy. So guys, if you're still on the journey, you're thinking of starting a YouTube channel, please, this is the time to start it. It's going to get frustrating at some point, but do not give up. So in a nutshell, I was paid $3 plus for a thousand views on YouTube. Now, I created a video where you can actually create automation and automate your YouTube channel and get quick views and quick monetization. That video is in the description of this video and also showing here right now. So you might want to watch that video so you would learn this and actually get to monetize and get to start enjoying the YouTube money like we're doing. Thank you for watching this video. And if you've not subscribed to this channel, you might want to hit on the subscribe button because I turn out videos like this that are very helpful to people. Um, if this is not, the next is going to be, the next is going to be. So do very well to hit on the subscribe button, hit on the notification button so that when I drop a video, you'll be among the very first to get notified, like and share.